In this video, we're going to take a look at using velocity values to trigger articulations. Right now, I'm in the Session Strings Pro 2 interface, and I need to change my mode from key switch to velocity switch, and the interface updates down here. We have what is considered the main articulation and the velocity switch articulation, and they share the identical articulation menu that we've seen before, and you can pick and choose one here and one here. You set the split point or your MIDI velocity value right here with the slider. You can see I can slide it up and down to whatever value. Let me drag it up to 86. So now a MIDI velocity value of 86 or lower will trigger pizzicato, 87 or above will trigger the accented articulation. And let's go ahead and take a look at this with the transport float. If you look in our MIDI area here, you can see as I hit very softly, I should trigger pizzicato and I'm well below my 86 value. If I hit rather hard, I get my accented sustain. So it's just that simple with the Session Strings Pro 2. You get a choice of two articulations and you can assign the velocity split. And there's one more articulation I'd like to talk about within this interface. And let's go to the settings here. And you actually can do pitch bend falls and scoops. So I can just hit a note and do pitch bend. And in this manner, we can get scoops and falls. So again, that's in settings. Let's go back to the main interface. Something to keep in mind when you're working with MIDI velocity and articulations is that the MIDI velocity is always going to stay with the note. So you can move the note around. But regardless, it will trigger the same articulation. Let me jump to the Symphony Series Brass Ensemble and show you how to set up the MIDI velocity triggering there. And then we'll do a little recording and editing. So let me select track two. We have our interface open up. And for this library, we need to go back into our articulations editor. Click on edit up here. And now we have our articulation slot setup information. Do need to make sure you're on key switch rather than MIDI CC. And what we need to do is take whatever articulations we would like to have triggered by different MIDI velocities and assign them to the same key switch pitch. So sustain all, if we look, is at C0. Our next articulation, sustain single tongue, we can see is a C sharp zero. Let me select this. And I'm going to drag this down to a C zero here. Now they share the same pitch. Next thing we need to do is split the velocity range. So this is 1 to 127. I'm going to make this the upper velocity. So I'll change this value of 1 to a value of 65. Let's go back to sustain all. I'll keep the value of 1, the low value. But I'm going to drop the high value down to 64. So now MIDI velocity value of 1 through 64 will trigger sustain all. And MIDI value of 65 through 127 is going to trigger the sustain single tongue. And this is going to work because we've assigned them both to the same pitch right here, the C0. And let's bring our transportation float back in and we can see the note. So I'll hit softly on a note. And if I strike the key harder, we get our sustained single tongue. Now this library has a little more advanced setup here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to delete all but the first three articulations. And by the way, that's not a bad thing to do as this saves them from being loaded up. You can save RAM, et cetera, and so forth. I've got just three articulations here and I need to reassign this one to C0 as well. And now I'm not going to worry about the velocity range for each of these because I'm going to let the interface do this for me. I'm going to click on the three dots and that opens up my macros. And I'm going to select the macro that says distribute velocity range equally on all active slots. Click on this. And now let's start from the sustain all 1 to 42, sustain single tongue 43 to 84, and trill semitone 85 to 127. And as many slots as you add active, it would spread this range out equally. Caveat here is the more articulations you have, the narrower your range of velocity per articulation. Let's bring our transportation float back in here and see if we can't get this to work. I'll hit a note. It was a MIDI velocity of six and it certainly triggered the sustain all. Let me see if I can hit the key a little harder and trigger the sustain single tongue. problem value of 67 and now the trill semitone we need to go to 85 or better and I'll kind of pop this key pretty hard works great I had a MIDI velocity of 110 to trigger that 
Okay, let's do a little recording and editing. Let me close this out. Move the interface down a bit for right now. Bring the playhead back to bar one. I think I'll go ahead and use the Symphony Strings Pro 2. Again, just two articulations. The first is pizzicato. My MIDI velocity split point is 86, and accent is on the high end of that. All right, so let's see if we can't make something work here. So again, our split value is at 86, something to keep in mind here. Let me hide the player for the moment. And let's take a look at editing these. So you're editing MIDI velocity. Number of ways to do that. If you are working in the piano roll editor, you can have your velocity tool. Mine is assigned to my right mouse click. I can click and drag. I can open up my MIDI region automation, and you can see we have our note velocity values expressed here. I can simply grab at the control point here, change that. It probably would help if you had your notes available there to see. And if we click and hold, you can see we get the velocity value. So we know that's going to trigger this accented sustain. You can edit multiple notes this way. Simply select them first in the piano roll editor. And once selected, you can adjust them down here. Let me open up the event list, and you can edit the values over here. Within the value column right here, this is all your MIDI velocity right here. Again, reminding you that the velocity value stays with the note. So you can move the note anywhere. In fact, let's do such. Grab a note here. Move it over to here. We have no key switch note to worry about. We have no CC information to worry about. Move it over, hit play, and we get exactly our articulation that we wanted. So that's all I'd like to cover in this particular tutorial. Quick review of the interfaces. In Session Strings Pro 2, we need to make sure we're in Velocity Switch mode. We only have two choices. Main menu, Velocity Switch menu, same articulation menu choices. We define our velocity value split point with the slider. Additionally, we talked about the extra little bonus here. Pitch bend setup, you can do scoops and falls here. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's go to horns. This interface is a little more complicated, but more sophisticated. Let me close this out to take us through the steps here. And I'll open up the articulation window. And we need to make sure we have key selected. We already have edit selected. If it wasn't, it would be closed like this. Assign whatever articulations you want to work with in the same velocity switching to the same key switch note. Adjust the range here. You can also take advantage of the macro and use the distribute velocity range equally on all active slots to have it do the work for you. Let me get out of this. And finally, for editing purposes, simply adjust the velocity to fit the range that you've set up. You can do it here in the piano roll with the velocity tool, automation region, clicking and sliding. You have the event list as well. So that's a wrap. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this gives you a tip or trick or two on working with MIDI velocity and articulations, and we'll catch you on the next video.